Hello! <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Um, today I am here with part number three in my declare series, and I excuse for like the settings and everything, but today we're going to go through eyeliners, single eye shadows, and mascaras and stuff like that, and I have taken out my backup drawer as well. So I think we just get started and we maybe can start with eyebrow things. Yeah, we start with eyebrow things. Okay, so I really hope that this is good. So this is my eyebrow things, and we can start with this big one. This is uh, Best in Brows from Colourpop. I have done first impression, I don't know if that video is up, but I am of course saving this. And then we can take <laughs> this one, this is the one I'm using right now. Maybe I should move everything. Um, this is from Kat Von D, and I think we can say that this is over finito it's like that it's some around like the rim but it's like more metal than shadow so I will actually throw this out and I think this was good work for me so this one I am not the clutter just throwing away because it is empty then I have my Anastasia deep brow and this I bought first and then I bought the one from Colourpop. So I will save this. This is a deep brow made. This is one of my absolute favorite brow products ever. And this is in the color blonde. So I will save this as well. Oops. Then I have this, I don't even know what it's called. Brow Pot from Nabla. Looks like this. I have used it a couple of times. I really didn't like this one. Um... I know people do, but I do not, so I think I actually will declare this. And then I have some brow pencil. I got this one by Terry, eyebrow liner. I got this from one of my colleagues. It was too light for her. I didn't really like this. It's super strange color. I don't know if you can see. It's like... I don't know. I just don't like it. I've tried it a couple of times, but it's just for me. It's like a, a pen, like with ink, and it's like wet. And somehow it turns out like green on my eyebrows, so I am not going to hang on to this one. And then I also have this, this brow pencil from the pen in the color taupe and it's a tri triangular shape I do not like this one I usually don't use eyebrow pens at all so I'm going to declare this one as well and then I have this I have a lot of eyebrow pens for not liking eyebrow pens this is from Paris Berlin I think this is was so dry even when I got it so I will not use this one, so I will declare this one as well. And then I have three eyebrow shaping things. So I got this from Lumine. This one I'm using now. This is an eyebrow wax, so I will keep this. This is from The Brow Gal, by, um, and this is just clear water resistant eyebrow gel. So I will keep this one as well. I haven't opened this yet, so I will keep this. And then I got this. This is my all time favorite brow. Fixer. This is the Control Freak from NYX, but I think this is a little bit old and I actually don't think it's so much left, so I will declare this one. So I thought I maybe will show you everything that I have decluttered in the end of this video. Yeah, show like all the things. So maybe we should go into mascaras and eyeliners. No only mascaras. So these are my mascaras and we can start with this one. This one I'm going to throw away. I think this is old. My eyes started to water when I used this now in the end so I'm going to declare this one. This is the mascara I use right now. Worth the hype from NYX. I really really love this so I am of course keeping this one. Then I have this little pixie one. Lower lash. This is the one with the super tiny brush. I didn't, I don't really know why I bought this because I don't like to have mascaras on my lower lash because I have super long lower lashes. So I 
will declutter this one. And then I have some that I haven't opened yet, so I'm saving these. These are the body shop. I got this in my... It's a loud car outside. I got this in my advent calendar. My Christmas calendar? I don't know the English word for it. Advent calendar? Yeah. So I'm going to save this. Then I have this one. This is from Emit Makeup. I don't think Emit is cruelty free. And I have used this and it was just a mascara. It didn't do anything to my eyelashes, so I'm going to get rid of this. And then I have this. I got this in a glossy box. I haven't opened it. I don't know if I will use it or not. But I will... I will keep it. And then the last one is Perversion from Urban K. And I bought a Christmas set on Christmas sale, so I will keep this one as well. Okay, so that was all of my mascaras. Now I think I will go into pencils and liquid eyeliners. And just don't be afraid. Uh, but I have a lot. So these are all of my crayons, eyeliners and stuff. So yeah, it's quite a lot and more is coming because I've ordered 20 more from Colourpop. Or is it 24? I don't know. So I will keep the most of these. So I will keep all from... Okay, these are going to fall down the floor. Uh, I will keep the free ones I have from Colourpop right now. I really like them. I have Prance, Fast Lane and Boots. Really, really love them. I think they are so, so good. So I'm, of course, keeping these. And then I will keep all my Linda Holberg and I have all the crayons she has ever released and I love them. My favorites are absolutely the red one. It's so hard to find a red pen and this is also vegan. Then I love the orange one because I love orange. This is likable mood. They have new. I have the old one. The new one looks like this with the tip. Has the color of the pen. Love that. Uh, the old one has a black tip. Hate it. And I also love... Where is my other little baby? Crayon. This one. Happy Mood. Yellow one. And I will keep all the Linda Holbergs. A lot of them disappeared. Uh, I will also keep the ones I got from makeup store. Um, I got dark chocolate. It's just... Oh, here was one more from Linda Holberg. Um, this is just dark brown. And then I have one that is called Top. Really love this. Uh, Snowflake. It's a white one and a black. A black one. <laughs> and then ice blue and metallic one. And this looks... Pretty cool. I usually don't use this that much. I don't know why, because it's, it is like prints from Colourpop, but it's a shimmery one. I can maybe swatch prints. Yeah, so it's a little similar to prints, maybe. Not that similar. Okay, and then I have some from NYX. I have this faux white one. I like this one, so I'm going to keep it. And then I have this Oxblood. This is such a deep, awesome red. I really love it. So I'm keeping these as well. And then what do we have more? I got this from Sleek. This is an Olala oh liner. And this is in the color Venom. And this is also such a cool color. They are a little bit dry. But it's such a cool color. So I will keep this one as well. I got two from... What is it even called? H&M. These are re actually really, really good. So I'm going to keep this. These are two glitter ones. So keeping. Then I have this one from NYX as well. This is Wonder Pencil. It's like a skin tone color. And sometimes when I are super tired and are like red in my eyes. I like to use this. And then I have a lot of black left. 
I got this one from Urban Decay, Slide On, Glide On Eye Pencil. I will keep this as well, just because I want to try it. But then I think we can get rid of some stuff here. I got this smoky eyeliner waterproof black. I got black from Linda Harper. Halberry. This I love, so I'm going to declare this. Um, this is from Body Shop. I'm going to declare this one as well. This is not even open, so I maybe give this away. And then I have one more from Body Shop. I got these every year in the calendar and I don't use them, so I'm going to give this away as well. And then I have this one from Lumina Nordic Noir Intense Eye Pencil. And the same, I have a black that I love and I don't need more, so I'm going to declare this one as well. Then I got this from Body Shop. I will never use this. So no. And then I have my four liquid liner. We can start with this from, from Nabla. This is the Dazzle liner in Current Eden. And look at this. I usually never use eyeliner, but this is such a cool freaking color so I will definitely keep this one and I will try to use it because oh do you, do you see so freaking awesome and then my three other liquid liners I got one star stem from body shop it's a normal eyeliner as well I never use it but this star stamp love it going to keep it and I will, of course, keep my backup with a star stamp liner. Then I got this tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I got this a long time ago. I think it was the Kat Von D in Too Faced palette. I bought it in a like little package and I think you got this. Never used it. Thinking of giving it away because I don't use eyeliners. But at the same time, people say that they super love this, but I think I'm going to give this to a friend that I hope she will like it, because I think I will never use it. So oh, that was all my eyeliners. Now I think we will go into single shadows. No, first we can take some glitters. This is my little glitter collection. <laughs> so I got four from the body shop, but two, I only have two different colors. I have a pink one. And I have a gold one, and I think I have never used <laughs> any of this, so I think I will keep one of each color and then give one away. So I maybe should just see if I have opened, or it has just leaked out. So I will declare one of each. And I got this in a glossy box. This is a glitter from Bella Pierre. This is a silver glitter. I don't think I will ever use this. Or will I? I haven't yet. So why am I keeping this? I don't know. I'm going to declare this one. And then I got these. These are... <laughs> I bought them to have as an uh, glare for my nails. Because before I really was into fixing my nails. Now I have them fixed. But I really love it. So I bought these. But I think I'm going to use these around my eyes. Maybe this is a little bit dangerous. I don't know. But I have... I don't know if you can see it stars only like pink dots hearts and half moons i'm going to keep this because i betty jean inspires me to use glitter so i think i will use this and try and hope and pray that i don't get blind and that was all the glitters now we are going into the single shadows and these I got some more of. I got a lot from Makeup Store, as you can see. So I think I will start with all the others and take Makeup Store last. Okay, so we can take these two from H&M. I think I will keep this. This is like a super nice red. Yes, I will keep this. This is Keeper. And this was called In the Red. And this is down to earth. I read some beauty blogger, she used this. I was like, oh my god. It is a nice color. It is a nice brown. 
but I think I will never use it, so I will declare this. Then I have this one, this is a black one. I got this from Glossybox. This is from Emit Makeup in Dams. This is like a super black one. This is super pigmented, but I don't think Emit Makeup is cruelty free, so I will get rid of this. And I have other black shadows now. Then I have, we can take this from from NYX. This is Shut the Fuck Up, I think it's for, stands for STFU. This is a yellow one and this was like the first really yellow shadow I bought. I don't think that this is so good as you can see. No, it's not that good. So I will, I have better yellow shadows now so I will declare this. And then I have this one. If you have watched me, I love my mineral foundation from Decay. I have one eyeshadow. This is in the color maroon. My boyfriend is calling. This has been through like four declutters. It is such an amazing shade. I think it will stay. Maybe not next declutter it will go, but it will stay for now. Then I have this. This I got in a glossy box. It feels like a lot of shit. It's from the glossy box. I will swatch. It feels pretty creamy. But I don't think it's anything unique for my collection. And I use... I don't use single shadows that much. So I will declare this. Effect. Foiled eyeshadow. No. And then we have this. This is... Mineral eyeshadow Sand Dune from Lily Lolo. I think this is a vegan brand. I will not use this one. It's just like a normal. I will not use this. And this was a super annoying lid. So you are going. And then I got this little guy from Hot Makeup. I got this in a glass box as well. I will see. Somebody is not happy because she isn't getting her way. I think this was pretty cool, but it's pretty toned down. I don't even know if you even can see it, so I will declare this one as well. And then I got something more from Bella Pierre. This is... Uh, what are you even? I don't know. This is like a holographic. She says, maybe I can use this as an... It pretty cool, but I don't know. It feels like it's like big glitter specks in it. Not a fan. I'm going to declare this. And then the last one is from Kix. And this is... Pr I, I think I like this. This is Rusty Iron. And look at this. Okay, I wasn't that blown away by it anymore. So, I will declare this one as well. Okay, so the last thing for this video is going to be my makeup store shadows. And as you see, I love makeup store shadows, or at least I have. It's a Swedish brand. Now or soon, I think they're going to be completely vegan. I really love their shadows. It was like the first most expensive shadows I bought, so this got a really special place in my heart. So yeah, we can start, so I can like move this a little. Okay, we can start with these four. So as you see, I have hit pan on this, like the first eyeshadow ever I hit pan on. And this in color Old Lace. I used to set my eye primer before and then I used this, but I really like this still. So I'm going to keep it. I don't think I will get rid of any of these makeup store shadows. I know. And then I got this white one that's called just white. It looks like this. I've used this quite a lot as well and I will keep this. And then I have desert. This is such a nice... You want to have makeup but you... Like a no makeup makeup. This is perfect. I usually don't do that so often but I really like this so I'm going to keep it. And then the last one. This is like their 
iconic shade it's smog I know a lot of people use this for like a contour and I thought about that maybe I should use it as contour too I really like this you can see it's a little bit of dent in it and I'm going to keep it and then I have these three that maybe it's a little bit more creasy or not we can start with this this is the marble eyeshadow volcano I remember when I bought this I was like this was like the best thing ever it's getting uglier and uglier the more you use it but yeah okay maybe I am not so big of a fan of this now when I swatch it I don't know if I'm going to use it it's a cool shade it looks so awesome but I actually don't think I will use it so maybe it's time for me to say goodbye to my makeup store shadows pretty to look at but okay I'm getting rid of this and then I have this purple one I think I got this in a glossy box and this is in flamenco okay I'm not blown away by this either and this I haven't bought so I think I will declare this one I liked it as thought like I'm not going to declare any one of these and I have declared two and this I didn't buy either this is deep blue I got this in glossy box as well I don't know how this is oh maybe this is something I have better blues than this so I'm going to declare this one as well this is actually going pretty good okay then we can take these five and we can start with this. This is louder. I think this is maybe better like purple or what it is. Oh, did you see the pigment in this one? This one I'm going to keep. And here is an orange one and this is Splash. I can't remember even buying this. I like that one as well. I think that these two would be pretty good together, so I'm keeping this one as well. Then I have Deadly. And somebody I followed a long time ago, she loved this, then I bought it, and it is a nice shadow. I don't use these types of colors that much anymore, but I'm going to keep this. And this formula is so much better. Okay, and this is charcoal. Charcoal. And do you see my fingers? Oh, this was so creamy and going to keep this one as well. And this would be a super awesome makeup, I think. So I'm keeping this one as well. I think I need to use these more. And then the last one is Pink Frost. I actually bought this for using it as an highlighter, but I never did and then I put it among the other eyeshadows and it looks like this. So maybe it's a good highlighter. I will hang on to this a little bit longer. Okay, and these six little yards is going to be the last thing I will do and I think I maybe will take that away. So we can start with a thing I'm not going to use. This is an cake eyeliner black. And this is like an eyeliner, but it's like a shadow and it is broken and I am going to declare this one. Then I have, I, this is an eye dust and it's like shadow everywhere. It's a nice color, but nothing special. So I will declare this one as well. Then I have this. I love this when I bought this. This is rusty. No rumble but it's a rusty shade and I can swatch it I was so in love with this when I bought it okay I think that this little guy will stay and then I have one that is called rising sun it looks like this and this was like my first I think I want to try yellow face it's not that special. It looks... Okay, I know that if something doesn't swatch good, it doesn't mean it's a bad shadow. And what is this? 
but okay. okay I will keep this and then I got this busser and this is a pretty cool shade if I'm not mistaking it looks like this and then it's okay it is so dry it looks pretty cool actually so I will keep this one as well and I think this one this is I think glitter no bamboo this is an eye dust but it sound like a glitter okay this feels a little scary how am I supposed to get this up Maybe this could be something. So I think I will keep this one as well. So yeah, that was all. Um, I will take this away and then I will show you everything that I'm going to declutter. And then we are finally finished with this part of my declutter series. So these are all the things I'm going to declare. It feels pretty good. I didn't expect to declare like makeup store things, but it feels really good. And this one, I I don't know if I maybe should keep it, but I it will get old and I didn't like it that much. It's in the shade Venus. Or maybe I should give this away to someone if I know someone with this light brows, but yeah. These are the things I'm going to declutter. I really hope you like this third part. I don't know if next time I will maybe take lipstick or eyeshadow palettes. We will see. So yeah, I think I did pretty good or at least pretty okay. I will try to use my single shadows more. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. And yes, this is a strange hand thing. So I really hope you liked this and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!